Are these your lawyers you have with you? Who are they? My kids. Oh, you gonna take your hands out of your pockets? Sorry. Are you, co are you cold? Uh, no, just a little nervous. <laughs> All right, don't be nervous. There's no need for you to be nervous. All right, get, get her over there where she belongs. <laughs> now, what is her name? Valerie. Valerie, hi Valerie. And what's this guy's name? Cadence. You can call him KK. <laughs> you gonna wave to me? You gonna wave? Uh, He's, okay. He don't care about that. <laughs> okay. uh, you have a parking ticket. It was on a Chevrolet. You drive a Chevrolet, don't you? Most likely that was my kid's father driving. How many children do you have? Three. I see. I came here to ask for more time to pay it. Destroy us. You also have another ticket that goes back to, um, it's five years ago, on Durant Street, which was a $100 ticket. Oh, my kid's father. Right, that was his? Yes. I didn't know about anything until she told me when I came here today. And then you have a third one that goes back six years ago. <clears throat> on Broadway, was that the same situation? Yes. That ticket was parking 25 feet to a corner. It was a $30 ticket, it tripled to 90. The other ticket was a $100 ticket, it tripled to 300. Jeez. I'm not gonna hold you responsible for the actions of, your, of the father of these children. Thank you. Because I'm not gonna embarrass you by asking you questions, but my, yeah. my sense is that he's not meeting his obligations as he should be. Thank you. Who got the parking ticket on Darren Street? You did? No. That was him too? Yes. What's your daughter's name? Valerie. Valerie, come up here. Come up here. Come up here. <sighs> How old are you? Seven. Seven? Okay. And you uh, came to court with your mom this morning? Or this evening, rather? Hmm? Yeah. And you were hoping that something good would happen to her today? Yeah. Okay. Now you see your mom is very un unhappy right now. She's crying, right? Yes. So what do you think we can do to make her feel better? Well, I have, ch let me tell you the choices I have. I can find her $175 or I can find her nothing. So what do you think we can do to make her feel better? Tell me. Find her the money, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she understands. <laughs> no. Let me explain something to you. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to ask you once more now, and whatever you say is going to happen, okay? I can say to your mom, I want $175 from you. Go in your handbag and give us $175 or I can say to her you're free to go you don't have to pay anything so what do you think I should do free to go free to go <laughs> all right thank you for helping me out I think someday your daughter's gonna be a judge <laughs> she's gonna be one of those judges that people like they say they find them I hear that all the time they say to me you're too easy up being placed in a situation that you have no control over. Right? Very much so. <laughs> Good luck to you. The matter is dismissed. Thank you. It means a lot. <laughs> Almost every day, I find myself face to face with someone who's in court trying to clean up the mess of their ex. You saw this poor woman. She has custody of three young children. They're pulling her in three different directions at once. And yet, she has the strength of character come to court and try to make things right. She actually trying to pay. If anyone deserves a break today, it's her. And I'm glad her little daughter was able to come up and help me find a way to give her a break.